Christians around the world marked Good Friday today. It's the day the faithful believe Jesus was crucified. Stuart Greer has more on the traditions, both pious and puzzling, that start the Easter holiday. Nailed to the cross, only the most devout Catholics in the Philippines dare to use real nails to reenact Christ's suffering and death. It was crucifixion number 27 for Ruben and I. It's all part of showing gratitude, he says, for surviving a fall years ago as a construction worker. It's uh, intriguing and fascinating what makes people do something like this. In Jerusalem, hundreds of Christian pilgrims retraced the steps of Jesus. They followed the 14 stations of the cross on their way to the ancient church of the Holy Sepulchre, the exact spot where they believe Christ died. The most perfect love that was ever seen in the world was when Jesus died for us. The new Pope, Francis, moved the Roman Catholic Church a millimeter closer to gender equality when he broke with tradition by becoming the first pontiff to include women in an ancient Easter ritual. He washed the callous and tattooed feet of young offenders, reminding the faithful of Christ's humility. Elsewhere in Europe, it was less religious and a little more commercial. Thousands gathered in colorful Easter markets, which brightened up what so far has been a bleak and icy spring. In Prague, a treasure trove of elaborately painted ornamental eggs were on display. And no Easter here would be complete without one of these up from Alaska, a decorated willow whip. They're used as part of a popular, but politically incorrect, pagan fertility ritual. What do boys do with that? Uh, they beat girls on their body. <laughs> and the girls don't mind? Uh, yeah, it's a tradition. You don't, <laughs> we don't mind. Oh, really? <laughs> Women can exact their revenge by dumping a bucket of water over a man's head. Maybe it's safer then to celebrate Easter French style instead, with some of the newly unveiled chocolate sculptures of chickens, hedgehogs, and mice, and whatever this is. Stuart Greer, Global News, Prague.